hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's video tutorial is about the skip loops these are the function blocks uh, which are used for the skip loops this is the starting instruction and this is the ending instruction there are total of 128 skip loops starting from n is equal to 0 to 127 every skip start instruction skpn must correspond to a skip end instruction skpen which has the same loop number as skpn now we are talking about this n number if we have used over here for example 4 then the same 4 would be used over here if you are using 20 the same 20 will be used over here they must always be used as a pair and you should also make sure that the skpen instruction is after the skpn instruction skp is a starting instruction and skpen is the ending instruction so we have to use first this instruction and then after that we have to use this one and in the middle we will be uh, having the all the instructions which are need to be executed or which are need to be skipped so when the skip control en is zero now we are talking about this en which can be controlled through an input which is connected to the plc input pins like x0 x1 x and or this control signal can be from the scara to make it enable and disable so when the skip control en is zero then the skip start instruction will not be executed when the skip control en is one the range between the skpn and skpen which is so called the skip active loop area will be skipped so that is all the instructions in the area will not be executed now how it works let's start the programming open the win for later software click new select the type of plc you're using and click ok now click a on the keyboard and write x0 and click f and write skp so you can see begin of skip loop which is the starting instruction of the skip loop and now we have to enter the number as i have told you that we have total of 128 skip loops so for example i want to use six over here okay and i want to add some instruction x1 and output y0 and x2 x3 and output y2 for example and now i want to use the skpe which is you can see the end of the skip loop and click OK and we as we have entered 6 over here so same 6 will be entered over here and OK now let's run this simulation run PLC as you can see the switch is on the input is on so the output is on on so it's working in a normal way if I on x0 if there is an input signal on x0 so what will happen now you can see it's not working these instructions will not be executed if I on this one you can see this is on but during if during this time I turn it on now if I turn it off it won't affect y0 can see no matter if I turn it on or turn it off it will remain on it. Uh, so if I turn it off you can see now it's executed and now if I make it enable now you can see I, I, I cannot turn it on why because this is on the EN has a high signal it's active and that's why this is not working it will work only if it is off so this is how the uh, skip loops works 
If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching.